hey, I am coming at you today with some big, big Squarespace changes. Now, before we get into this, if you are on the older version of Squarespace, so if you made your website um, about two years ago or, or before that, these do not apply to you. So you can breathe, you can go elsewhere and come back to this if you decide you want to start a newer version of Squarespace website. Um, but if you are on Squarespace 7.1, if you have a newer Squarespace website, and this will impact you. And if you are a client of mine, pay special attention. I'm going to be sending this video to you in an email with some specifics as well. So as of today, Squarespace is rolling out over the next week something called the Fluid Engine. And so this is going to drastically change the way that we design Squarespace websites. I'm going to walk you through it in a second, but I wanted to first tell you it's not going to break your existing site. It's not going to automatically everything be Fluid Engine. Pre-designed things, things you've already, we've already created, you've already created, will remain in the, what they're calling their classic editor. Um, but any new sections you create will be in now the Fluid Engine. They're forcing the change. There's no way to not create them, but there is a tiny workaround that I'll show you. So um, without further ado, let's talk about this thing called the Fluid Engine. Um, it's going to change quite a lot. So let's talk about it. So let's get down to my sandbox page here. And I've got a couple things designed in it already. So this is in the original, I, this, I created this section before the Fluid Engine. And so you can see it says upgrade. It is asking me to push this to Fluid Engine. Right now it is in the original editor with the same insert points and all of the same settings that you are so used to in Squarespace 7.1. You can still duplicate this section. So if you aren't ready for the Fluid Engine, my workaround is to duplicate existing sections on your website and they will still be in the classic editor at least until the end of August. If you're a Squarespace Circle user, at least to the end of the year, um, we don't know how long for sure that this duplicate workaround will work, but they are not going to retrofit. They're going to push you to upgrade, but they're not going to suddenly go. The, your pre-created things are all now in the Fluid Engine. So that's, that's good. So let me show you the Fluid Engine. So this, let's, let, let's just compare. I'm going to create, so we've got a few things here. I'm going to create something really quick here in the Fluid Engine. So let's go, let's create an image. We'll create something from my library. So we'll just pick this picture of a laptop. And we're going to say that we want it to be an overlap. And we're going to put some text here. Headline, we're going to put that in heading one. We're going to put some body text here, right? So that's a really basic thing. And then from here, what we would do if we wanted to, we could edit the section, we could bring it in the width a little bit. We could move things around with spacer blocks, right? So now Squarespace 7.1 fixed this a little bit where you didn't always have to use spacer blocks. You could push content to the left or right, those kinds of things. And the thing is, so that's a really, really basic section right here in Squarespace 7.1. And let's get rid of this spacer block so everything's centered. So in Squarespace Fluid Engine, which is built on top of Squarespace 7.1, this is how this would work. So let's create the same image here. So um, I'm going to delete this entire section and start again so I can show you this. So we can add a section and it will still come up with all these lovely templates for you, which will save you some time because designing this way is a little bit more detailed and you have to do everything yourself, which I'll show you. So it's going to take a little more time, but you still have all these great presets to use. So I could come up with a similar thing just by using this preset, but I'm going to show you from scratch. So I'm going to add a blank section and you can see here, instead of having these insert points, it's got a block here. So it says add block and I'm going to click that and I'm get the same list of blocks and I'm going to add an image. You can see already how different this is. Um, it doesn't have kind of that pre-filled image. It puts it kind of on the side as opposed to taking up the full screen. Um, it's not really, I don't really have as much control over where things land. 
Um, yeah, but you have total control of over everything. So I'm going to show you again. We're going to add that same image from my library. And we're going to let that fill. Now I can say how far I want to scale that. And you can see it's kind of doing this thing where there's a lot of white space on either side. So I'm going to set that image to fill. And then I'm going to play with the dimensions until I'm happy. The other, so, so that's one thing. And then let's add in some text. So I can add, and that just auto places there. So I'm going to do the same thing. Headline and some body text. And put that as heading one. And in this block, you can see I can make it fill the whole space. Um, and there's some other settings in here that are, I can, that you can play with as well. They've now got strikes through, which I didn't. Um, but you'll have to have a think if you, about the background on these, some of these things, and you can change that in other places. And then, so let's add another block here. Let's add another text block. We'll put that here and then it'll say some body text. So you can, these don't automatically format. Oh, there we go. Did you see that? text and it says background so I can add a background and then I can change the color of it to white so this is I'm still learning this too this is brand new um, and I'm still having to play around with it in my business but they're launching it really fast so I wanted to make sure you all had an update so that's how that works now coming up to this um so that's pretty much how you create this exact same thing now you can select multiple things so I can select all these things and center it so that's about two blocks on either side. And you can see that grid pops up when you start moving things around. Um, you can also play around with the section setting. So you can decide if you want gaps between the sections or not, which will help if you want to have things touching each other. Um, you can also manually decide how much space you want between each of these um, grid cells. You can also decide how many rows you want in the grid, which is pretty cool. Um, and so that will make it really long. And if you decide you want less rows in the grid, you just you can just drag that up or you can manually change it up there as well. So this goes on, but I can decide you don't have to, it's the, con the space is no longer determined just by content and you don't have to rely on space or blocks for positioning anymore. The final really cool thing I want to show you about this is, and be careful with the touch. The final really cool thing I want to show you about this before we get into some of the technical issues with it is you can now have things all the way to the side of the page. You can have a full lead section, right? So you can create content in ways that it, you couldn't really before because now you can have things touch the side. So that's pretty much the Fluid Engine. Like there's got to be a lot more to work about this. But the other thing I want you to know about Fluid Engine is how it works on mobile. It does not just like automatically everything work on mobile. It does before you barely had to touch mobile design in Squarespace. You could tweak a few things, optimize a few things, but now you pretty much have to redesign your entire site to look good on mobile every time. You also should be aware that it will show the things on mobile based on when they were added to the section, not based on where they live in the desktop version. So if I were to add something now, at the top of the page. So let's add, um, say, a really fun scrolling block. Let's go with this one here that they have add to site. So I can put this up here and I can make that fill the full page of the full set. And then I can also design it a little bit. Let's just give it, let's fade the edges and give it a background, right? Um, so, you can, I would probably do a little bit more of that. I can make them and make it wavy. So it's just for funsies. Do a little bit of design there. Um, doesn't look that good. I would probably change this some more. But, um, and then go look at mobile. That doesn't show up at the top of the page where I placed it. It shows up at the bottom of the page. So you'll need to be mindful of that because you're going to have to, then I would have to go in and move this around. I'd have to move everything around. And unlike in Squarespace before, it would, you know, these things would have manually repositioned themselves by me dragging them around so that they weren't all overlapped. Now I'll have to be mindful of what overlaps and which position I want things in. 
So you can do lots of really cool things with Fluid Engine, but it comes with some bugs. Um, and it's going to take a lot more time to make sure everything looks good on mobile. And you also experience the same issue um, with this when you place elements and as to how it works with accessibility. Screen readers right now, and we're hoping Squarespace fixes this, but screen readers as of now will read um, it based on, read your screen based on when you placed the block, not on where you have placed the block. So as you're building things in this, be really intentional. Um, this is still pretty buggy. We're hoping that Squarespace fixes quite a lot of this stuff soon. Um, but for now, I would say take some time, get familiar with it. And while you're getting familiar with it, please still just duplicate sections till you, so I'm going to be playing around and learning how to use this, but while I'm learning how to use it, I'm going to still just be using these classic sites and I'm going to be duplicating these, these, these graphics, um, sorry, these sections, I will be duplicating these sections and using them the old fashioned way for the time being. And it, just to show you, if you do click this upgrade, it becomes fluid engine, just like we created above. And then if you hit control Z or command Z, depending on your computer, it goes back. So if you accidentally hit upgrade, don't panic. Um, just don't make sure to hit control Z before you hit save. And that's pretty much fluid engine. I'm going to be really encouraging my clients not to hit this button for now. And to, because, um, it can break code. So be careful with your existing sites. Do not convert over your sections. Unless you know it's not going to break your code, check with your designer of your website, um, check with the code you have. And if you need help optimizing for this new engine, this fluid engine, contact me or your web designer, because this is going to be a wild ride while Squarespace hammers out all of the bugs. And while designers catch up to this new system, they haven't given us much time.